Did you ever wonder what space travel does to the human body? I'm Joanne Saria, and I'm going to walk you through the answer to that question and what risks astronauts face, as well as the challenges that come with long-term missions beyond Earth's orbit. Two, one, ignition, and go space go crew Our bodies evolved over millions of years to function perfectly on Earth with its gravity, breathable air, and protection from cosmic radiation. Space, however, is a completely different environment, and changes begin to happen as soon as a person arrives in outer space. Here's what a lead flight surgeon has to say about this. There's an adaptation phase that happens right away when you get up to space. Um, the components of that are some um, motion disturbances that can lead to um, basically a kind of motion sickness uh, in some people. Uh, and then the, the, other, the other factor is um, after that, or the, the process that your body undergoes to adapt to this new environment that doesn't have gravity in it. Without gravity, radiation protection, and natural environmental cues, astronauts experience a range of physiological and psychological changes that can impact their health. Unlike on Earth, where our atmosphere and magnetic field shield us from space radiation, astronauts are exposed to high-energy cosmic rays. This exposure can damage DNA, increase cancer risk, and affect the nervous and cardiovascular systems. In low Earth orbit, the Earth's magnetosphere provides some protection, but astronauts traveling beyond, say to the Moon or Mars, face much higher radiation doses. Long-term exposure could lead to neurodegenerative effects, immune system suppression, and accelerated aging. Just look at these before and after photos of Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore, who spent several months in outer space. So if you're worried about aging, I don't recommend a trip outside of planet Earth. And what about gravity? I know it might be cool to float in space, but gravity is crucial for how our bodies function. Gravity pulls fluids downward, and without it, bodily fluids shift toward the head, causing facial swelling and increased pressure inside the skull. This can lead to vision problems, a condition known as spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, or SANS. Gravity also keeps our muscles and bones strong. Without it, astronauts experience bone density loss and muscle atrophy. Research has shown that astronauts lose about 2.1% of bone mineral density in their lower leg bones after a six-month mission, and some never fully recover. Even the brain is affected. A 2023 study found that astronauts who spent at least six months in space experience expansion of the brain's cerebral ventricles, which could have unknown long-term effects. Then there's a toll on mental health. During long space missions, astronauts live in confined spaces with little social interaction and no exposure to nature, which can really affect their mental health. This isolation can lead to stress, sleep disturbances, mood disorders, and cognitive decline. So the longer the mission, the greater the risk. For example, astronauts traveling to Mars could spend years in deep space, facing extreme isolation and psychological effects of being millions of miles away from home. But the journey doesn't even end when the astronauts return. Recovery depends on how long they've been in space. For short missions, most effects reverse quickly. But the longer missions, some issues persist, and it can take months to regain full strength. According to Dr. Gilmore, most of the body systems recover in about 45 days. And the body systems, most of them recover um, back to their baseline in that 45 um, day period. The one that takes a little bit longer is the, the bone and, re, and reabsorbs, reabsorbing calcium that may have been lost. That can um, take onwards of a year, um, maybe a little bit longer sometimes to regain the total amount of calcium back that um, might have been um, shed while they were in space. Research from the 2021 Inspiration4 mission found changes in brain, heart, muscle, and immune function after just three days in orbit. Another study in 2024 revealed that astronauts experience headaches more often than previously thought, with nearly all participants reporting them during long-duration missions. And despite decades of research, there's still so much we don't know about how space affects the human body. We don't fully understand how spaceflight impacts lung function, for example, or cognitive abilities and long-term mental health. Mitochondrial dysfunction appears to play a key role in space-related health problems, but the exact mechanisms remain unclear. 
What about pregnancy or giving birth in space? One of the biggest unknowns is how space travel affects human reproduction. So far, most studies have been conducted on animals like mice, but we have little data on how human fertility and embryonic development would be impacted in microgravity. If humans are to colonize space, we need to understand how spaceflight affects pregnancy and fetal development over generations. We now know about all these challenges that astronauts face in space, but scientists are working on ways to protect them. Scientists are developing mitochondrial-based countermeasures, improved exercise regimens, and enhanced shielding from radiation. And as space agencies and private companies push the boundaries of human spaceflight, Understanding and mitigating these health risks will be crucial. Space exploration is one of humanity's greatest frontiers, but to conquer it, we must first learn how to protect the most important part of the mission, and that's the human body.